All right, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to another build. And if you're new to the channel, I'd appreciate it if you went down below and hit that subscribe button. In this video, I'll be making this budget-friendly, split-top Rubo inspired workbench. I say budget-friendly because I built this all under standard 2x6 um, construction grade lumber you can get at your home center. And this table measures six feet long by 31 and a half inches wide by 34 and three quarter inches tall. I'll be doing this build in a two-part series. Part one's gonna be milling, gluing up, and cutting all the joinery from my components. Part two is gonna be me actually assembling and getting this bench put together to where we see it now. All of the joinery is at Dow Morrison Tendons, so if you're a new woodworker, this is a great build to get you kind of honed in on some of those skills. So without further ado, let's get to the build. cut to their proper lengths at the miter station. Uh, my next adventure is gonna be passing these through my joiner to establish two flat surfaces. And then I'll load them up on my saw horses back here. And then I'll be able to pass through the table saw to cut them down to the, rip them down to their final widths. All right, so now all the boards have been cut to length pass through the joiner, and then ripped on the table saw. So now it's time to pass them through the pointer to get to the proper thickness. All right, so I'm about ready for my second round of glue up on the workbench top. And so what I've done is I've kind of organized my lumber, um, tried to pick up the ones with the fewest amount of knots that were gonna be at least exposed on the top. Um, so I did the best I could. Um, and if I did have knots, I tried to place them more in the center and on the edge pieces. So next will be laying them down on my glue up table and doing the glue. So the second half of my uh, workbench top's been gluing under my tent, or heated tent setup for a little over 24 hours now. So I'm gonna untarp it, and I'll carry the last two pieces um, into my heated bathroom to let them kind of continue to go. I think next I'm gonna work on making the legs and the stretchers and get the frame built up before I do any of the finished milling and the final glue up on the top. So this is uh, my temporary uh, wood gluing tent. So these have been in here overnight. Um, I'm gonna let them go for, I don't know, probably until, until later tonight. It's, I don't know, early afternoon, early, early noonish. Um, but yeah, so I thought I'd give you a little inside view of my, my glue up table under the tent. Um, it seems to be working pretty good and it's actually not um, as big of a hassle as I thought it was gonna be, um, putting it on and off pretty easy. Just clamp the tarp around uh, some of the, the tabletop um, surfaces and then I've got just a little space heater and a thermometer in here to kind of see what temperature it is and right now it's holding about 65 degrees which um, that heater just kicked on so it gets down to about 63 or so and then it comes back on and turns off at about 68 to 70 degrees. But so far it's working good and these are the four legs that I got glued up right here. And then after this, I'm going to be doing the stretcher glue up, or stretcher milling, and then the glue up. And then I'm going to start um, with all my joinery and assemble the base, and then 
assemble the top from there. So. Thank you.